What's going on guys, this is Bob with Gaming Relay, and today we're doing something very, very different. Uh, today, instead of doing some gambling, some betting, some reviews, some case opening, some whatever, we are actually going to be looking at a fake CSGO gambling site. That's right, a fake one. Um, with the return of gambling, you know, it kinda, it's kind of back on the rise. It kind of died for a little bit, now it's coming back. You're going to see a lot of these websites coming up. Um, I actually had the... Uh, the, the the CSGO gods shine down on me today and I had two of these idiots get a hold of me saying that hey you know we're mods for this website we can rig it so you can win yada 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 bunch of bullshit so me being me I'm like yeah I want to see what you got to offer um, so first off there is one big red flag websites called CSGO split but it's all advertised as CSGO roulette you google CSGO split you can't find shit you look on YouTube, you can't find CSGO split anywhere. I've looked on Google, YouTube, whatever. I find a bunch of stuff about you know, professional strats and how to do A splits and crap. That's great. I'm still a silver, so I can use that, but that's not what I'm looking for. So what we've got here, first red flag, was definitely, you know, when you've got a, a you know, an actual web page that's advertised differently than the link to the website, that's a red flag. Second red flag that I saw right here it says you have to configure your trade URL before you can deposit items. Every other, I mean, look at our other videos. All the websites that we go on, we uh, you know we gamble on, we do open cases for, we do the uh, the paid content for. The second you uh, confirm this, this shit all goes away. So as you guys can see, this has already been confirmed. Did this like four times. It still never went away. I thought that was incredibly odd. Um, and so you know that 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 was those are red flags right away. The other red flags is in the FAQ. And so, I let the guy, I think I didn't read all this beforehand, I did. Um, I recommend that every time you guys go to a new website, you know, if, if you're gonna link your Steam to it, find out about it. Look into the website FAQ, look online. I mean, you can actually go into Google and type in CSGO split scam. Um, this one didn't pop anything up, so I'm assuming this is a newer website. But you can go, you know, you can type in like CSGO rule scam, CSGO massive scam. And you can see, man, there's, there's, you know, especially on the CSGO Reddit, people are always talking about new gambling sites. That is a great, great resource to use. So there's a few things in here that are really odd. Um, the currency doesn't really out, it doesn't really explain it. Um, you know, there's, I mean, there's websites that you say, you know, up one banana is equal to one dollar. Um, you know, one coin is equal to one dollar, or you know, uh, ten coins is equal to a dollar, or whatever. It at least explains it. Doesn't really explain it for every. What is that? A, a, a club from cards you get you know for every club from cards 0 0.01 your items are valued you'll receive one ticket nowhere on the website am i seeing shit about tickets um you know what are the fees in order to maintain the website has to pay for hosting we take a fee between zero percent and four percent eight percent if you don't have csgo split in your name that should be advertised on the front page because on the front page it does say hey you know you can get an additional four percent if uh you know if, if you have it in your name but it doesn't um other things down here. Well, I'm not receiving my win. Newcomers to the site have to win twice in order to get their winnings. This only applies if you've never played before. You will receive a trade offer maximum of 30 minutes after winning. Make sure your trade URL is correct. Your inventory should be set to public. It doesn't say if it's a trade bot that's going to be sending it to you, sending you the trade link or anything like that. That that that's a red flag to me. Um, newcomers have to win twice. Now, if this website offered things like dice, like CS:GO Roll does, or or mines like CS:GO Massive, where you can go in with a very small pot, you know, a 20 cent pot. 20 cent bet and win great phenomenal this is a roulette site where you know you're gonna see pots go up to one two three thousand dollars and they have a minimum of ten dollars that that is insanity I, I don't know any other roulette sites that, that require a minimum of ten dollars to just go into the pot I mean we've all seen the crazy you know two percent in a dream put in a four dollar skin and win a thousand bucks that's really that, 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 that's sketchy in its own Another thing, I have problems with my contacts. CSGO froze or froze at gmail.com. So not only does the link not match, the website advertises doesn't match, and the fucking support email doesn't match. You can't tell me that's not weird. Um, another thing, I, I've got to make sure that we are all in the uh, all on the same page. I'm not upset. I, lo I lost my skins. I knew going in, and you know that's the purpose of the whole video. And, and I want to say I, I, I bet less than twenty dollars worth of skins. To be honest with you guys, and they were shit. They were like. Uh, uh, battle scarred to shit op hive um, my front side misty that I've been trying to get rid of forever and try and trim it off and I just can't seem to get it out of here stuff like that um, sometimes we get a series of suspicious victories no shit you have mods rigging the website so it all looks legit um, let me get under here to the, the anti-scam system how it works because of increasing 
because of increasing of scam that's horrible English we are compelled to add a system to add system of protection not a system of protection just system of protection um, another thing most of these FAQs you will very very rarely see a single grammar mistake let alone multiple another red flag in order to take in order that to take away things again guys this is ridiculous from virtual inventory and also to receive yours prize while you are not your prize yours prize it is necessary to place on the website in total amount of deposit of clubs 100 so they want you to, to, to put in 100 dollars not only do you have to put a 10 dollar deposit in twice you actually just be able to get your shit out you have to deposit two bets of 50 dollars and win twice that's insanity. No real website will make you deposit $100 and win twice when it's when all they offer is roulette. Again, if, if they offer, you know, mines or, or other things like that, that's a whole different story. Um, another weird thing, the chat. You, you'll see it's the same people talking constantly. And, and that would make sense if, uh, you know, if, if people weren't really playing, you know, frequently. But it's a Friday night right now. And what's weird is every time I, I type in the chat, can anyone see my chat? No one ever responds. And if you notice, the chat will freeze completely. It was just going pretty frequently. It's going to freeze now. Um, nothing. See? They're just going to go ahead and, and it's going to keep going. Um, they, you know, these club symbols, same things. There's just odd coincidences. Um, a lot of the other, you know, fake gambling sites that we've come across, same deal. You go in and then it'll... Uh, you know, you'll see all these guys have CSGO split in their names, but you won't ever see that on other sites. I mean, sure you see it on occasion. I'm gonna stop talking because this is obnoxiously loud when someone wins a pot, and I'm just gonna go ahead and stop talking for a second so I can just not have to talk over this thing. Yeah. That's fucking obnoxious. It's like I said, incredibly fake. A lot of this does not, it just doesn't add up. Um, unfortunately, my wins, I, I can't show them. Um, actually, I, th I think I can, I think I might actually be able to pull the other video that I rendered improperly out of the recycling bin. I don't believe that, uh, the quality wasn't very good the first time I recorded this video. But now, let's go ahead and get into the Steam messages. So, um, my first message, you know, I, 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 I get added by this random guy. Um, this is on the 30th. I just happened to see this. I said, do I know you? Um, a few days later, it says, hello, are you busy? I have a deal for you. I am admin on jackpot and I can prove it. I can make you winner in the pot. I want 50% from when you agree. I didn't respond. He responds, I can prove that I'm an admin. Tell me the name of any user in the pot at the moment and I will make him win the pot. And this last part is what I need you guys to remember. Because I think that this guy's got multiple profiles. Because I got another very odd message right after a comp game I played. Goodbye, if you decide to add me and I'll show you all. So again, very improper English. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the FAQ so we don't have to deal with the uh, incredibly obnoxious noises in the back. But so, um, I, you know, I, I, I'm trying to get out of silver. I'm playing my ass off. I get a message from this Cortez guy. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, it cut off the beginning of this chat, but it, it was literally word for word identical to this here. Um, so I put in my first bet because I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I know it's fake. I'm going to make a video of this. My cell phone needs to shut up right now. I'm like, I'll make a video of this. Sure. Cool. Um, I put in a pot. Well, first off, he, he said, uh, name, name somebody and I'll make him win. Well, he did it. I gave a you know random name on the website. He won. But I picked a name that was in the chat consistently. Because I was like, huh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's where it's. And I also picked a version with like a 4% win percentage. Um, so I win the first one. He says, uh, and I said, okay, well, how do I withdraw? He said, you need to win two games. You only won one. I said, okay. I said, let me buy a $10 skin real quick and I'll rebet. I just pulled my op hive off my other account. He said, okay. I said, okay, ready? I'm ready, but norm put, not but, put, normally only read the FAQ. I said, how to make a bet? Tell me I will make you a winner. I said, okay. I said, I'm waiting for my deposit to go in. Another red flag. I had to confirm the trade about 15 or 16 times for it to go through. That shouldn't happen. I mean, look at our other gambling videos on our channel. It never happens that way. As soon as that goes in, you've got your money within a few minutes. It's all squared away. So the um, deposit goes in. But before the deposit went in and refreshed on my page, he said the Bob Hicks win. Very weird. I said, it's in. Please make you win. He said, why did you put so little O? And I said, all the skins I had at the moment. Um, he said, I told you to read the FAQ. Then he says, the Bob Hicks has won the current uh, pot contains 27 items of 676. I was like, huh. 
that's weird. We're gonna go back and look at some of the other bets. A lot, you see a lot of 670s, you know, 680, 690. A lot of those in in, in this, you know, the varying amount of skins, but always around that. Every now and then you'll see, you know, I'll see a one thousand dollar pop, but it seems to go in a pretty specific order. It's a UFAQ red anti scam system. That's what I read you guys earlier about the uh, you know have to have a minimum deposit of a hundred dollars. That's bullshit. Stay away. Any any website that says you have to put in a hundred dollars just to win your shit is ridiculous. Because once you put in a hundred bucks and you only win seventy five, then you're out money and your skins. Because let's say you put in three pots, three pots for a total of a hundred bucks. You win seventy five in the last pot. You're actually not. You're not even breaking even, assuming that the website you know is actually pricing the skins accurately. Um, I said, he said, you put 20 bucks in for a bet. And I said, yeah, I said, okay, this is a scam. I'm going to report you. I said, saving the entire conversation and reporting. He said, I told you to read the FAQ and you told me, okay. I read the FAQ way before I even started talking to this guy on the website because realistically it seemed bullshit beforehand. I knew it was. So I'm like, Hey, this is a good video opportunity because while, you know, we currently have the disposable income, we've been very blessed in the last few weeks getting, you know, getting these deals, you know, with these websites. This is bullshit. Not everyone has got disposable income and skins they can just throw everywhere. You know, throw it throw away. Um, and right here I said, okay, no problem. So you know I am a YouTuber. This entire thing is gonna make it, you know, is uh, this entire thing was to make a video on this very nice scam site. By the way, when you want the scam to work and you really want to make sure you really want to make sure that the only person or the Jesus can't even talk, guys. I'm so pissed off about this, I can't even talk. By the way, when you want the scam to work, you want to really make sure that only one person contacts me in advance. Again, two people, same amount of broken English, both contact me with the same thing, you know, on the same day. Very odd. And I told him today, you know, my, so my channel has nearly 11,000 subs, over 300,000 views. So I'll be putting this out to my 4,000, you know, uh, follower Twitter as well. Have fun. And I said, you know, so you can refund my skins and I may consider not making a video and you can keep your scam alive. Now, just to be transparent, I was never going to not make a video on these assholes. The thought process here was, you know, with like I said, with gambling coming back, you're going to see a lot of these scam sites. If any of my subscribers got scammed on this, I am terribly fucking sorry. And I was, I was going to see, you know, if they're going to refund my skins, maybe they'll refund yours too. He says, thank you. Make a video. It's PR for the site, please. I said, no problem. It's a good PR is mods rigging the site. Yeah. He said, yes. I said, all right, big guy. And again, so at the very end of the, the conversation with fewer here, he says, goodbye. If you decide to add me. And I'll show you all. Cortez, goodbye. If you decide to add me, and I'll show you all. That's what makes me think that this is the same guy. Because literally, as soon as he gets offline, probably 10 minutes later, I get a message from this guy saying, question mark. Uh, little odd. Another red flag for you guys. If you guys get these messages on Steam, it's very easy to see if it's illegitimate. So we've got fewer here. And just so you guys can see it as the same person, um, I'll actually, we'll start with Cortez. We'll go ahead and view a Steam profile. You guys are going to notice there is no CSGO on here. Now you're going to see a few of these. The, some of these people are, are in the chat right now talking. So let's go through, you know, plus rep, plus rep, plus rep. But you're going to notice one of these guys is fucking trade banned. That's not a little odd? Okay, sure. Maybe that's just, you know, one random guy you traded with. But again, if someone is a mod on a CSGO gambling site, they're going to have CSGO played in their Steam inventory. They, they just will. But I want you guys to see, Counter-Strike, they defeat Source Dota 2, Counter-Strike. So now we're going to go over to our Fewer conversation, or Fewer, or however the hell you say that. View Steam profile. Dota, they defeat Source, Daisy. No CSGO anywhere. This guy, who, you know, I, I've added him as a friend. The other guy was not his friend, and his was public. I could see his comments. Nothing down here in the comments. No CSGO. This entire website is a scam. Stay away from this website. Let's go ahead and look, and you guys will kind of see. So we, like I said, you see the fluctuation in pots here. Um, and then, you know, you can see it. It looks like there, there might actually be a few people in here. Um, it's possible that, you know, as soon as I said, hey, I'm making a, you're making a video on your website, they, uh, they went ahead and decided to block me from the chat, and that's fine. Um, but again, like I said, guys, stay the fuck away from this website. When you guys come on these websites, the first thing you need to do is, you know, what I always do, just go into Google. I, I went to Google, typed in CSGO split legit, CSGO split scam. Nothing comes up. There's a bunch of videos for, you know, professional, uh, you know, professional players showing how to do 
you know, A splits, B splits, nothing about the website. I type in CSGO Roulette, of course it's going to pull up a ton of gambling sites. Not this one. That's really weird. I went ahead and checked the CSGO Reddit. Where if, if it, and I'm telling you guys, if it is not on the CSGO Reddit, it does not exist. Same deal. Nothing about this website. Again, when you guys come to these websites, do your homework. Do not link your Steam account and deposit your hard-earned skins before doing your homework. Read the FAQs. Again, you see you have to win twice to win. Fuck that website. It's not worth your time. You see you have to deposit more than the $5 minimum, because I, I think at $5, that's fair. There's a lot of websites that, you know, especially the ones that offer affiliates. You go in there, and this is another one thing. There are no affiliates on this website. What gambling site do you know of? Even the Russian ones that I have been on that I have to translate through Google have got affiliate codes. This doesn't have it. Very, very weird. Again, and if CSGO Roulette is legitimate, I apologize in advance. Do your fucking job and do not have your admins I'm just outright rigging pots before they even happen. This is what happened last time CSGO gambling was a thing. You guys are going to fuck it up again for everybody. I understand this is profitable, and I know that everyone's got a different opinion on gambling. That's great. You can have your own opinion. I personally don't care. I like gambling. I think if you are 18 or 21, depending on your state or country, you work for the money. It's no different than going to the damn casino or betting on races or betting on dogs or betting on the damn Super Bowl. You're just betting on virtual currency. It's no, it's no different on betting on esports matches. But you have to do it responsibly. There has to be that, that, that wall of protection. Another thing that's really, really odd, if you go through here, you will not see a single thing that says you have to be 18 years of age to use our website. Every CSGO gambling site has something saying to make sure you are legal age before doing so. This website's a scam. Stay away from CSGO Split, CSGO Real, whatever the fuck they want to call themselves. If you guys get a message from, you know, any of these people, you know, from Pure, from Cortez, or anyone that's saying, hey, I want to rig this site for you, just kindly tell them to fuck off and block them. They are, it's not legitimate. I don't want to see you guys lose your skins. Trust me, this happens to a lot of people. I do not want to see my subscribers, you know, commenting below saying, hey, I just ripped all my skins off a scam. Scams have gotten much... They have gotten more complex throughout the years. It used to be as simple as, oh, I'm just going to dispute your trade offer, or I'm going to say, I'm going to send you the money via PayPal after you give me the item, and I'm never going to send it to PayPal. You have dudes setting up fake websites now. This isn't the only one. I know of quite a few more. So if you guys want to see more uh, this kind of content, you know, not as, you know, like the iDubs content cop of CSGO gambling, let me know. Um, I'll, I will walk you guys through what's legitimate, what's not legitimate, and like this, I will show you all the information I have, I'll put it out for complete transparency's sake, so you guys know why. Because, I mean, there's a chance that I'm wrong about this. What I'm not wrong about is this admin being able to pre-put my name in, put my ticket number in, to make me win these, you know, win, win those skins. That's that's ridiculous. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these, let me know. So like I said, I, I've got quite a few other, uh gambling sites that I found that are less than legitimate. So you just let me know in the comments down below. We'll get you guys those videos out here. Have a great fucking weekend, guys. I'm out.